Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to Art of Awakening. My name is Ona Christie, visionary artist and mystic oracle. And today I want to talk about the importance of time. And lately I've been really feeling into and sitting with the, the concept of time as it relates to our spiritual awakening. And I'm really coming to understand that working with time and how we work with time and through time is actually very central to the awakening process. And here is why, because the entire alignment and awakening and enlightenment process is a process of moving into sync with natural time. Because when we're in sync with the time flow of nature, that will naturally bring us into developing and evolving in the way that we were actually designed to be right intended to because we weren't created in a vacuum we were created in this whole environment on this beautiful planet right we're part of the planet and to be able to acknowledge that through our use of time and how we live our lives, whether it's in sync or not, to the, the universal spirit flow, right? The, the Christ consciousness or the life wave of the planet. Okay, so right now, most of the world uses the Gregorian calendar, which is based on a ratio, a time or a number ratio of 1260. Okay, so we have um, 60 seconds to a minute and 60 minutes to an hour. And then we have 24 hours in the day, which is two cycles of 12 and so forth. And this is all based on geom geometry and geometrical concepts, right? But it is not based on how nature actually works. And so if we are continue, if we continue to use the Gregorian calendar, we have automatically just like you don't even have to think about it, but you're separating yourself from the natural way that time unfolds. And what that does is it creates distortions in, in your energetic field. It just creates distortions in life and it automatically kind of distorts how you create, right? Remember, as we are creator beings, as human beings, um, we were created to be creator beings. And so everything that you touch, everything that you think and do and feel is actually an act of creation. It's a creative act. So we are all artists, right? And our art, even if you don't consider yourself an artist, it doesn't matter because you're creating art through your life. Your life is a work of art. And so when we are connected with the natural flow, the art begins to flow spontaneously and beautifully, and it has soul, right? And you can feel any work of art if it has that quality of chi or prana or soul or breath essence to it. Um, the, you can feel it and versus I think we've all seen art and I, actually I challenge you to go look at computer generated art go look for AI art and yes on the surface much of it is very beautiful but when you start looking at one image after another after another after another they're all AI generated you start to recognize that there's a certain sterile quality to them even if they're beautiful you start to recognize there's a certain stamp of energy on these things that does not feel soulful, okay? And that's what happens when we sync with that artificial timeline. It kind of gets us out of sync with the soul essence of nature and the soul essence of who we are right it disconnects us from the god essence within us and so that is going to affect everything that we create okay it's going to affect all our relationships it's going to affect you know any physical thing that we create it's going to affect the the, the, the timelines that we create and 
One last thing about the Gregorian calendar is that I recently learned that the standard calendar that we're using right now is based on how the ancient Babylonians measured time. And coincidentally, I've been guided to learn about a little bit about the the ancient Babylonian beliefs and mythology. And what I found, I find actually fairly disturbing, okay? Because just in a nutshell, their creation myth revolves around um, these, these God beings that if you read into it, they're egoic beings. You can see that, you can feel it. And what they believed was that these God beings created mankind in order to serve them, right? To essentially be slaves. And first of all, that just does not ring true to me. It doesn't sync with my own experience and my own, you know, what I've been told through the Akash and through my own guidance that humanity was created as a part of the earth, that we are part of earth consciousness and that we were created by, you know, by the creator, you know, as, as holy beings, right? Not as slaves. It, it, so right off the bat, that, that is just something that was a huge red flag to me. And then I also learned that their belief about the afterlife was that a hu- when a human being passes on, that they go into this underworld that's all dry and dusty, and that there's that's all there is, and that every human being ends up there, no matter how they live their life. It didn't doesn't matter whether you're a good person or not, or if you're you, you know working to. There's no evolution there, right? It's basically ends in depth and that's it. I mean, um, and that too is just so, so rings untrue with all of my experience. Um, I assisted my mother in passing last week and that was such a, an incredibly beautiful experience and so much light around that. It's like, I know that we do not go to a dry, dusty underworld and, and, you know, for eternity, we go back to the light. And that is the absolute truth. I've experienced it. So many people have experienced that. So when I'm looking at a system of time that's based on these beliefs that I know in my heart and my gut are not based on reality, it, it really gives you know, gives one pause, I think, you know, are we really using this, this time frame? And also it was, the Gregorian calendar was adopted um, as in the Western world in the, the, the 1500s, I think, and it was like initiating in this age of mechanization, um, that there are good aspects to it, right? There's, there's light and dark to everything. And I think we can be very grateful for a lot of the ease of life that we have due to mechanization and technology. But I also feel that the technology needs to serve us, not us, it, okay? And so when we're using this timekeeping mechanism that is created to make of the world something mechanical and lifeless, um, you know, really think about that versus the alternative of a timekeeping system that brings us back into sync with universal time and with natural time. So we actually do have an alternative. And if you've been with me for a while, you may remember a couple of years ago, I introduced a calendar called the Galactic Calendar or the Dream Spell Calendar. And this is this year's version of it, okay? And what this is, is it was, um, it is based on the ancient Mayan calendar, which is based on a ratio of 1320, okay? And that is actually a reflection of uh, nature and how nature, the natural cycles move, okay? And so when we use this calendar, um, you can see here, it's, it's quite the beautiful piece of art itself, right? Um, but this explains that the 1320 refers to the 13 tones of creation, which they say convey nature's creative process as an unfolding 13 day spiral of time. Okay, and then the 20 glyphs are symbols of universal energies, 
which represent archetypal aspects of our beings. And so it goes on the cycle. Um, and each day has a certain frequency that you can work with. And what I love about this is this um, recognition, right, that life is art. Um, because when you are syncing with the natural cycles, you automatically sync with the creative flow of the universe, right? And that's why I feel it's really important to be aware of time. And that's why I feel like this calendar may be something that is really worth working with. Now, and over the last couple of years, I, I bought this calendar, but it's, I have to admit, it's been kind of challenging for me to kind of actually really get the hang of working with it um, because there are certain complexities and because it is something that's unfamiliar that we weren't, you know, most of us weren't, uh, didn't grow up with. And so sometimes anytime that there's a positive change that we want to make, often there's a challenge associated with it. And that's just an invitation to, to, to dive in and work deeper and, and to work through those challenges. Unfortunately, you know, we're not alone in this. <laughs> we're all, we're walking each other home. We're all here in this ascension process together. And so there was just this wonderful offer that I received recently. Now, you may know that earlier this year, I started a um, private membership group for star seeds and awakening souls it's called spoken earth ministries it's free to join and when you join we get together once or twice every month and it's just a beautiful community of um, kindred spirits and so there's a couple of members of the, that community who have been working with this calendar and have really been going to town and really beginning to understand how to work with it and um, they both of them just are just glowing when they talk about this and so one of them whose name is ash mystic approached me uh, last month and asked he said that the day out of time is coming up and if you're if you haven't worked with this calendar how it works is that there are 13 moons or months right and that of 28 days each and that adds up to most of the year but then there's one day that it doesn't cover and what they do is they, they take that day and it's called the day out of time and it's this beautiful day to just kind of rest and reset and meditate and you know just take a day of timelessness <laughs> before we start a new cycle so um, I love that concept, and he reminded me that the day out, out, out of time is coming up on July 26th, and he offered to do a presentation on the day out of time, and um, we both knew that there was another member that, uh, her name is Martha, who is also working with the calendar, and um, it, it, as it turned out, she was interested in, in helping with the presentation. So the two of them are going to be offering this to us on this day out of time. And I think I'm really excited about this presentation. I, they're going to explain the calendar, help us to learn how to use it in a practical way in our lives. And also there will be a guided meditative art session um, within that session. So I think it ought to be a lot of fun. And so I would like to invite you to join us. You do have to sign up as a member of Spoken Earth Ministries to do this, but it is free to join. It is free to attend, and I will be recording this. So there will be a replay available for any member who is uh, unable to attend. Um, you can watch it later. I feel like this is going to be a very, very special gathering, and I would love for any of you who are resonating with this whole lot of concept or idea, um, huge invitation to come join us, see what it's all about, and to experience our community. And so thank you for listening. If you're interested in uh, joining Spoken Earth Ministries, there's a link below in, in the description box, as well as I'll leave a link to where you can uh, learn more about the galactic calendar. And until then, remember you were born to be free.